watched four teams operate at Ravenhill last year uh, during halftime in the Ulster matches. I was very impressed by what I saw. I then contacted uh, the New Forge Panthers and myself and two parents with went up to watch the New Forge Panthers in action in uh, June. And again, we were very impressed with what we saw, very impressed with the people we spoke to, the parents, the coaches, the club members of it. And we thought, well, it's got to be worth a try to have it going here. I just wanted to see the programme uh, developing and uh, more opportunities uh, within rugby clubs for those with disabilities. Uh, I think it's, it's doing it in a structured fashion and involving um, schools, local schools, which is what we have done here in Portadown. Our uh, CRCs uh, are getting into schools and creating that link between the school and the club. And with that, there is a, there's a player pathway and we would hope it would lead to more numbers here in the club here at the Panthers. My team has been immense. I mean, it, right from the outset, as soon as I made contact with the Tigers, look at Tim's name. He and I have been basically in weekly communication, probably pesting the life out of him. But particularly now since he's actually been in situ in the Ulster branch, he's been superb with us, helping us to arrange our meetings, helping us to arrange training, helping us to make all the contacts, filling us in and all the legislation and the, 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 I suppose the off-field concerns that you've got to deal with when you're managing a group such as this. I got beaten in the tag game actually, but I was a bit, little bit disappointed, but I've been out of practice for a week, so um, I'll put it down to that. But, um, the kids are having great fun and you know that, uh, that, that banter is sort of infectious as well and the coaches are having a good laugh so it's, it's good to be here now. It's super to have sports for kids with learning difficulties. Um, you know it's, it's difficult to get mainstream sports the kids with special needs can fit into. We tried mini rugby before um, and it was just a bit chaotic for them so it's super to actually have this type of setup. It's just a bit more relaxed, a bit more understanding and, uh, and he, he absolutely loves it I have to say. I think it's important just to, to develop that, you know, just develop the rugby playing culture in the province and uh, the participation levels and stuff like the DECAL program are, 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 are central to, to, to developing that and, and hopefully you know, putting us in the right direction where we want to go in the next few years.